Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss the concept of strings. Simply, what is a string? String is a sequence of characters enclosed within double quotations. A sequence of characters enclosed within double quotation is called a string. Now, coming to C language, there is no predefined data type for defining a string. For that purpose, string is represented as a character array. You know the meaning of array. What do you mean by array? A list of elements of same data type. Here the data type is either integer or all the elements are float or all the elements are double or all the elements are long double. Suppose if all the elements are of character, then automatically that becomes a string. A character array is called a string. And remember each and every string compulsory, each and every string must and should terminate with null character. So the representation of null character is within single quotation. You have to write backslash zero. This is the end of a string. Now, what do you mean as a declaration? The very simple declaration. The data type is fixed. Care. It is a fixed. Name of the string within one subscript, we are given the size that is the number of characters that are present in the string and initialization so there are two ways so the obvious is the compile time initialization runtime initialization that is the second one first in the time of compile time initialization we have using two procedures observe the two procedures carefully care name of five is equal to we can initialize the string in the form of array. So how do we assign the elements in the array within flower brackets, element by element, one comma, two comma, three, and so on. Here, if it is a character, you know, a character is enclosed within single quotation. For example, if my string is R comma A comma J U and null character, I will explain later. This is one way of initialization. My second way of initialization is care name of five is equal to directly within double quotation we are assigning. These are the two ways of initialization. Here you have to know the difference among these two initializations. In this first type of initialization, if the string is initialized element by element or character by character, you must and should explicitly pass the null character. This is the compulsory. You have to pass the null character. For example, if you are initializing the string within double quotations, remember the thing, you no need to pass null character, but, but the compiler automatically places the null character. The null character is compulsory. If you are assigning character by character, you have to pass. If you are using double quotation, the compiler can pass the null character. The compiler can pass the null character. And how it is stored in the memory? The same. This is the sequence of memory location R, A, J, U, and then Terminate with null character. Terminate with null character. So what is the size of the string? Here I am declaring like this. Care name of 5. The size is 5. So 5 elements are stored. The length of a string is, observe the difference. The length of a string is 4. The size of a string is always length plus 1. Length in the sense the original characters that we are passed is considered as a length. Size in the sense the original length along with null character. This is called size. This is the way how the elements are stored. And again the same procedure. This is a zeroth index, first index, second index, third index, and then fourth index like this. Okay. 
in the next session we will discuss how to read string from the terminal that is at the time of execution thank you